Welcome back, guys. Have we got a very interesting knife to discuss today? I don't even know really where to begin with this thing other than to zoom in and really just show you. Like, yeah, we'll talk about the specs for the most part, but really it's just an interesting way to build a knife. Now this is the Quartermaster uh, knives, the QTR11TT. It is in the General Lee series and it was designed by Gavin and Grant Hawk as a collaboration and it's a flipper with a thumb studs and this pivot thing in the back. So it's unlike anything else, really. It's almost like the suspension of a car. It's just crazy. Okay? So let's zoom back out. You can flip it, okay? But you got to make sure your fingers are out of the way of all of that mechanism there, right? Because when it closes, or when it locks open, see if I can do this upside down. This ought to be funny. You gotta keep your fingers out of this area right here, okay? And it's kind of not locked locked right now, because there is a little gap there. So you just kind of push it down and it locks in. And now it is completely solid like there's no blade play in any direction even the way the bearings are it's ceramic bearings and the pivot system makes it so that there's no blade play when it's closed there's no blade play when it's open. like at any point of the rotation of the blade is there any blade play and it locks up so solid I, I don't know that you could physically, like, I'm, I'm sure you can physically put it in a vise and put 100,000 pounds of weight on it. Like, I mean, yeah, sure. Okay, come on. But realistically, I don't know that you could make this fail just because of the geometry of this mechanism here. It's very crazy cool. The same way you can flip it open, if your fingers are out of the way, you can thumb it open also. But I never seem to get my fingers out of the way, so I'm not going to really demonstrate that, okay? I, I was lucky when I did it upside down. And, you know, if I play with it for a little bit, 10 or 15 more minutes, I, I'm, I can get it so that it's perfect. If you want something fidgety, wow. Is that not cool? I, like, legit could be doing that all day. Okay, maybe not all day. My fingers would get tired. I would need to eat. I would need to drink, you know, right? But yeah, this could easily be my office fidgeter over the knives that I have on my office desk. This would be great for conference calls and things like that. Now, this was loaned in by Clint, uh, Cliff, Clint, Cliff up in Alaska. So let's go through some of the specs real quick. It's four and seven eighths closed with an extended clip, they call it. So it's a like super deep carry clip because it extends up above the frame of the knife. Now I have carried it around and I don't love the clip. It needs, it's super tight, but because there's all of these different uh, planes of material, it gets hung up in my pockets almost every time. So I would need this a lot looser to just kind of hold it in the pocket. So it's four and seven eighths closed, eight and a quarter of our overall, 3.3 inch blade and edge. Uh, it is S35VN. This one is well loved because as we zoom in, we'll show you some of the chips in the blade. 0.156 blade thickness, 0.645 overall thickness, and weighs in at 5.5 ounces. 
Okay, it is on ceramic bearings. You can see Cliff uses this, or he's played with it so much he's dropped it a few times, which you know yeah, it could be. Nice heavy dark stone wash, and just like I just don't know, I I I'm just kind of giddy about the this mechanism here. It's very much like the Caswell. Um, don't even remember the name. They're Karambit and uh, CRJB, I think, makes their production version of it now also that I got loaned in from my buddy Alex before. Alex at the Knifebox channel. Was very similar in this had a dual arm type of configuration and that's how the Karambit, you know, opened and closed. I don't know. This is just trippy to me and cool at the same exact time, okay? This was made in 2016. Here is a card. Uh, I did not see any, uh, which I, actually, I love this saying. Don't expect a successful mission, prepare for it. I think that's a great saying just in life. Don't expect a good day, prepare for a good day. How about that? Um, I didn't see any of these for sale online. You might be able to find them used on the secondary market. They were about 250 bucks back in 2016. Um, it's a very cool and unique knife. And you guys know me. I just want to see and review all the knives. Okay, that's just what I like. I like to see the weird, unusual, unique things that you can't even get anymore. Right, that, that kind of excites me to see cool stuff. So we'll do a couple of quick size comparisons as we ramble on uh, with the Sharpie. You know, again, you can't get these. So the small Dessert Warrior from Blade HQ, also unavailable. It's a great $40, $50 knife. Do not spend hundreds of dollars like people want you to do now on the secondary market. I was fortunate enough I bought a small and a large, so I have a both. I even have the little Victorinox. I've done other videos on those. Spider Codelica. This is not a video on the Dessert Warrior. I love the Donut Life. What can I tell you? Quiet Carry Waypoint. And because I just, you know, because it's a Hellraiser. Why not? So Cliff. Thank you for sending this in. I think this is the last knife I have of yours to video. So I'm going to try to uh, box those up tonight or tomorrow of the time of filming this and get those shipped back out to you. I will shoot you a message so you're aware of what I'm doing with tracking and all that good stuff. But very cool knife. It locks into your hand. It's got all this jimping up here and back here, a little bit down here even. It just, I, it's just freaking cool. And it's unique. And I'm sure if I spent more time really learning how to flip it open and thumb stud it open and all of that, uh, I'm sure you could get it down. I could tweak the clip, make sure that it works perfect in my pocket and all that good stuff. So a very cool knife if you're into the weird, unusual stuff. I would look for these on the secondary market. They actually had some other models with different uh, shaped blades. So, um, yeah, something worth checking out, I think, because it's just unique and cool. Let me know what you think. If you've got one of these and you love it, or even if you hate it, please let me know down below because I love reading the comments of people that have knives that I've talked about because oftentimes they give me some insight that I didn't know or they agree with my comment about this or that, right? So I love to hear what your thoughts are on them as well. So it's really interactive. Uh, so let me know your thoughts. And uh, yeah, if you've got something unusual and unique that you would like to see here on the uh, big screen, let me know. My email is always down in the description. Thanks a lot, everyone. Have a great day.